What is going on everyone? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. It's a beautiful morning here in Northeast Tennessee. And good news for you all, I got my old computer hooked up and I'm sorting through all of my raw footage. And that means you're gonna get a few bonus videos in addition to the hunts I'll be working on here shortly. So, what you're about to see is when I metal detected around a house built in 1860 that I had the opportunity to metal detect last year. It was in the summer, uh, so about a year ago, if you remember the videos I posted hunting the 1857 hotel, it was around that time. So it's almost been a year now. And um, I found some really good stuff. It was uh, one of my best solo hunts in a while. Uh, so I, I took the time to do a nice edit on the video. I was actually working on it last year and uh, just getting to finish it now. So uh, stay tuned. It's a pretty good video. Okay, got a blasting signal right here. And I got a cool looking uh, old toy car. Ford Zephyr. It's a Lesney. That's an old one. I'll have to clean it up, see if I can see the year on it later. That's pretty sweet right there. Okay, got my first old coin. Right by the steps leading up to the walkway, up to the front steps. And got a wheat scent there. Don't know the year, but it was about four inches deep. Um, a minute ago, I found a few other things. I got this, uh, I believe this is a suspender buckle right here. The back of it busted off when I dug it. But I found those before. Those are generally early 1900s there. And a few minutes ago, I got this. Some sort of tag off of some product. It says something like Dex 5% in saline or something like that. I'll have to clean it up later. But yeah, interesting stuff here for sure. Uh, no shortage of targets. Okay, I'm like two and a half yards away from the house in the front yard, kind of on the side, almost by the side yard. I had a solid 7980 signal. I thought maybe it would be a penny, but here it looks to be about a five to six inch silver coin. And the way it rang up, I hope it's a super old one. That looks really old. What is it? Oh, I think I see the band in the reverse. Looks like it's gonna be a Merc. Might be an older one. That was really unexpected. Rang up super low. Awesome. Happy to pull that out of here. Okay guys, this might be an old coin spill, hopefully an old silver spill. Uh, my foot's right on top of the plug where I just pulled that Merc and listen right above it. 84, 88, 89. That might be another deep silver dime. The grass is pretty high here. Have to really work for the signals. There might be another signal too. I almost clip one after it comes to the left. I think it's about right there. Let's try this live. The ground isn't too hard, so. The grass is thick though. Right, here we go. Okay, got it right in the center. About the same depth. Let's pull this clot out here. Make sure it's not in there so we don't scratch it. Okay, this little plop's gonna do it right here. I see it. It's another silver. Oh, that one's a rosy. 1950. 
awesome little silver spill. Uh, not as old as I was thinking. So that Merck's probably from the 40s maybe. But hey, two silvers. You won't see me complaining. I'll scan the area again, see if there's more. So I'm in my office editing the video and something very interesting just dawned on me. So you can see from the spill in the video you're watching now that I found a 1917 Mercury dime that was worn and a 1950 Silver Roosevelt dime that had a lot of detail on it. And it got me thinking, I wonder what is the largest gap or age range of silvers that I've found in the same hole. And I counted from 1917 to 1950 and the answer was a 33 year gap. And as soon as I said that to myself, something triggered in my mind. I found the exact spread many years ago. This was back in 2015. And I found a 1919 worn mercury dime in the hole with the 1952 silver Roosevelt dime, both in very similar condition. You can tell since the mercury dime was in circulation for a lot longer, it was extremely worn down and very slick. And um, the only reason I remembered it is because not only do numbers stick with me, but I kind of remembered what I had in the title of the video. And that is in the title, which is why I probably remembered it. So if you want to watch it, I'll link to it below, but it's called 33 year silver gap, or 33 year gap silver spill, rare Malaysian coin and more, metal detecting April 28th, 2015. So there it is, I repeated it many years later. So quite odd, but hopefully next time, we can widen that gap a little bit and make a new record. Okay, I pulled those two silvers right here. About a yard away, I had another signal that was slightly lower. It's coming in like 85. Uh, I cut my plug already. This could be a penny, but it also could be another silver. So we're gonna finish it live. I'm trying to save some time here. Did I miss it? Is it still in the plug? It's ringing up 84 and it's in the plug. More shallow, this could be a modern penny, who knows. And it's a dime, but it's not a silver one. Let me check the year on it. Oh, I can't tell. It's been down there a while. Fold me right next to them silvers. Hey, at least there's some coins in this section. Well, guys, I think this is the hot spot. I went about two and a half yards further. I'm right by the steps leading up to the front porch. I had an 89. I thought it might just be some junk or a clad quarter. It looks like I got an old silver quarter right here. Oh my goodness. What is it? It's old and it's tarnished. Oh, it's a Washington. Hey, that's still awesome though. Man, really caked with dirt. I'll check it later, see how old it is. Sorry for the glare, the sun's just really bright right now. Sweet. Nice little original patch right here, this is awesome. I can see a D-mint mark on it. Well, I'm glad I dug this crazy thunky signal. I just got me some kind of old fancy. Man, that's crazy. I have no idea what that's off of. It looks very old though. That is cool. Can't wait to get that cleaned up. I just got an awesome find here. Pretty good signal. Haven't found one of these in quite a while. It's uh, either one of the Boy Scout or Cub Scout uh, woggles or neckerchief, there's a lot of different names for these. That's pretty cool, let's see if I can block the sun there. There we go. Awesome, I was just expecting a penny. That is cool, that's gonna look great cleaned up. Just looking over by the driveway now, I got a wheat penny a minute ago and a 1965 copper cent, so uh, mine hit some more silver, I'm hoping. But uh, cool relics here too. I had a nice penny signal here that sounded a little bit larger, and when I pulled my plug open, 
I heard a clanking noise. I think they fell out of kind of like right in here. But uh, check it out. There is a whole bunch of coins down in my hole. And they've got that blue corrosion like they were stuck together. Let me turn this way. Block the sun. There we go. Okay, so they're um they're not wheats, they're copper memorials. But they're all copper, there's no zinc, so these have been down there a while. Um, let me see if there's any more. That's four. Man, there's more of them, I guess. Now look at it right there. Ugh. Stacked. Two more. Huh. Yeah, they're all, there's no wheats. <laughs> there's two more. That's crazy. I'll check the years on them later, but I don't see any wheat pennies. Oh man, another one must have fell out there. What are we up to, nine? I think that's it. Nine copper cents in the same hole. Sweet. All right, I'm going back through the section where I found all the silver about an hour ago and uh, digging all the thunky tones, absolutely everything. I dug a shallow 1983 nickel uh, about a minute ago and right here, about three or four inches down, had a 68 6 to 68 signal thought it was going to be a pull tab and um, Looks like a war nickel. I definitely see some white poking through there Yeah You can see that right there on the jaw and the nose of Jefferson Got me a 35% silver war nickel Really crusty looking, but uh, I'm sure it'll clean up. Okay. Looks like it's got a lot of detail on it. Oh Yeah, 1940 something 42 maybe? Or is that a 5? I can't tell. But silver number 4. Awesome. Okay, I'm working on a deep concentrated 78 signal here. And I'm right down at it. It seems small with the pinpointer. So in case it's like a Indian head penny or something, we're going to do it live. If this is a coin, it's going to be one of the deepest ones we've had here. Oh, what is that? Oh, cool. It's a lead seal. I'll clean up later. It's probably from the railroad. That's awesome. Nice. Okay, gonna finish this one live. It's coming in 89. I just dug a wheat penny here five inches down, and it was funny, right next to it, just barely under the surface, was a nickel from the 80s. Um, I'm sure they weren't dropped at the same time, just weird they happened to be in the same area. And we're right about down at this next one that's close to that wheat penny. It sounds really good, and it's deep. So I'm hoping it's gonna be a silver dime next to that wheat penny. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, oh, a huge nail. I hope that wasn't it. Might have been, might have been that squeaking in. I'll check it again. Actually, there's something else here in the pile. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's why it spiked. But it is a wheat penny in with that nail. That's why the signal spiked a little higher. The T2 sniffed it out. It was literally, I pulled the nail and this penny up in that scoop. It's been a long day. I left my other permission early because I knew I had dropped my camera somewhere on this massive farm. I knew I set my backpack here by this tree, so I let the homeowner know that I was stopping by to see if I could find it. So here you go. Must have fell out of my 
backpack. But anyway, my camera's in there, and um, that's got my hunt <laughs> from today at this farm. So if I wouldn't have found that, you wouldn't have had a video of my hunt looking for Civil War relics. But uh, it's been a long day, but it's been fun as well. It was uh, right up here where I had my bag set, and I had this in my backpack. It must have been too close to the top. It must have bounced out, but uh, I found it, so we're good to go. Let's hit the road now. Alrighty, so I'm gonna do a quick recap here. I already had these finds in storage, but thankfully there was a photo of the best ones on my computer. So this was the same day as I did a hunt trying to scout in a farm field for Civil War relics last year, which I already posted that video. So some of these lead bullets here, this pistol bullet and uh, this lead bullet from a musket was found in that field, not in this permission, as well as this uh, really old flat button and these two um, 1800 shell casings here. I can't remember if those were Spencer casings or Rimfire, uh, but those were from the other permission. So from this 1860 house, I had the four silver coins, that historic um, lead box car baggage seal that was really awesome, especially uh, having the N and W stamp on it. That's probably the, actually the best find I would say of this hunt. I had that uh, interesting tag that's for an old iodine solution. I found uh, similar things before. Of course, we got the uh, Boy Scout neckerchief. Um, this piece here that I'm not certain uh, what it's to. If anybody knows, comment below. You can see how. It's crumpled up on the bottom, but it looks like it's had the same pattern that would have been sort of jutting out uh, this way as well. I'm not exactly sure what that is off of, but it appears to be fairly old, uh, potentially from the 1800s, but I would say at the latest early 1900s in that piece looking at the design. I'm leaning more toward 1800s, uh, so interesting. Will, will be interesting to find out what that is. As I found um, what appears to be like an old uh, organ reed, uh, that was awesome to find there. I find these around the home sites uh, once in a while. And uh, that's, I think, a more modern piece of trash. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's interesting anyway. And of course, we got the, the toy car there, um, the suspender buckle, which is a pretty plain design. It looks very Art Deco-y to me, so probably early 1900s on that one. And uh, we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight wheat pennies. So unfortunately, I couldn't get any onto any 1800 coins uh, from that property, which is kind of odd actually, because um, it appears that the lawn was original. You know, I found all of this stuff, but hey, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Uh, it was an awesome hunt. It was uh, really great to have the opportunity to hunt there. Made some awesome discoveries. So with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.